So in this exercise, what we're going to do is use a subtractive synthesizer to explore how we might make a vocal-like sound. Um, and for that, I'm using Reason Subtractor. And the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is initialize the patch. So uh, let's click on here, go up to the Edit menu and initialize the patch. And then play a couple of notes on the keyboard, see how that sounds. OK, everything seems to be working. Now, vocal sounds require that we emphasize a couple of frequency regions that actually emulate the formant frequencies associated with our voice box, mouth cavity, and so on. And then also we're going to want to apply um, an LFO for vibrato. So let's make sure we've got these building blocks in our synthesizer. Well, here's the oscillator. Um, I can see two filters here. So let's turn this filter on and let's make sure that the... Um, envelopes are routed correctly to these filters. So what do we have to do? Let's see, the modulation envelope can be routed to frequency two. That will be this filter over here. This envelope generator looks like it's automatically routed to this filter. And this, of course, is our amplitude envelope. And I'm just checking, I noticed that down here, we've got velocity automatically routed to the filter envelope. So for the time being, anyway, let's turn that off so we can listen uh, properly to what's going on. Uh, if I turn the mix here over to the left, then I'm just going to be listening to oscillator 1. I've got oscillator 2 turned off. LFO, um, well, this is affecting both oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. That's just fine, as we want to hear it affecting oscillator 1. OK, let's just play a note and check that these filters are working. That seems to be working. That seems to be working. Let's see how these envelopes are working. If I make them flat. If I put the attack time up on this envelope, I expect this filter cutoff frequency to move. Not hearing much. OK, so we need to increase the amount. OK, now I can hear the sound brightening. Let's make sure the same happens with this envelope. And I'll probably need to put a bit of a mount the same. Let's pull that down a bit. OK, so our envelopes seem to be working. And what about the amplitude envelope? That's this guy over here. OK, that's just fine. So all of our elements seem to be working. So what do we have to do to make our vocal sound? Well. We need to use resonance. Resonance in a filter emphasizes the frequencies around the cutoff frequency. And that'll give us a little sort of hump, a little bit of extra energy in a certain, in a particular region of the spectrum. And this is what's going to make the thing sound vocal-like. So let's put the resonance up here on this filter, the resonance up here on the filter. Let's just start by putting the two frequencies in a slightly different place and just listening to what we've got. And let's turn off this envelope. Okay, I think at this stage we might want to adjust our amplitude envelope just for a little slightly softer attack. It's a little bit more vocal-like. That's better. Okay, well, as I move this frequency, we can see that we're getting a sort of E sound by pulling them further apart. And if we put them closer together, there's a bit of an R, A sound. Now, many vocal, uh, many vowel sounds that we make actually are mixtures of two vowel sounds. If we say the word A, we start going A, E, and you can hear the vowel sound changing. So let's play with the envelopes. And remember, this is not an exact science. We're just trying to set up this subtractive synthesizer so that we can start modeling in a particular region of sound. So I'm going to start putting this envelope on this, uh, this envelope on this filter. OK, that's a list too much going through. try and do the same over here, which is this envelope. So 
now we're getting quite a distinct sort of yo sound. And listen, I'm playing with the amount, which is the amount of this envelope being sent to this filter and the amount of this envelope being sent to this filter. And remember that these, the numbers generated here in the modulation envelope and the filter envelope are being sent to the cut-off frequency. So in fact, this envelope is moving this little button up and down like this. And this envelope is moving this button up and down like this. But I think you can hear there we've got a distinct vocal sound. Which is the relationship of these two formant frequencies moving in conjunction with each other. A little bit of vibrato always helps a vocal sound, especially a singing vocal yeah. sound. So if we turn the yeah. amount, let's increase the rate a little bit. Yeah. So there's one sound, and if we yeah. just change. can hear the differences. Okay, so that's just a little exercise um, to explore the envelopes, explore the filter and the resonances and in a search for a vocal-like sound. And one little sidebar here, if I pull on this little guy, uh, imagine that these lines, these vertical lines represent a bunch of frequencies and somewhere in there is a singer. Well, when we kick in with the vibrato, all of a sudden those frequencies which belong to the voice become very evident uh, and it's much easier to see the pattern and recognize a particular voice. So let's see what happens when vibrato comes in. Okay, now we can clearly see that these frequencies all belong to each other. They're all coming from the same place and we can see these resonant resonant. <laughs>